Alright guys, um, what am I saying? What's up Diamond Squad, it's your girl Night Diamond here, and I'm back at you with another video. This is why I'm wearing the same shirt. But anyways, um, make sure you guys go and check out my recent video and the others, you know, because I can't put things in the cards, because I don't have my laptop still. So yeah, make sure you guys go and check them out. But anyways, today I'm going to be doing a movie review on the movie The Turning. I watched it on my phone. Your girl got the hookups, okay? I be going on this particular website just to watch them, okay? So, yeah, I, I'm glad I didn't waste my money on this movie theater because, honestly, I was kind of disappointed with it. And if I did went to the movie theater and spend money, I would be like, wow. Well, damn. And this time I actually took notes as I was watching it, you know, so I don't forget anything that happened. But this movie was just so confusing to me. So, yeah, this is another movie I didn't do a reaction to because I seen the trailer in the movie theater. So, I didn't bother to react to it on my channel, you know. So, yeah, this is a PG-13 horror movie, whatever, you know. Okay, so basically... The movie takes place, like, how it starts off, basically, it used, this woman ran away from something, her face was bloody, and she ended up dying. No one knows how she died. Then, it shows you later on this lady that has a job that supposedly, her name is Katie, Katie is supposed to take care of this little girl, and, um, the little girl lost her parents at seven, her parents supposedly got into a major car accident, she also has an older brother come to find you find that out later on in the movie and um the lady the katie's mom i don't know if she has like some mental problem but katie's mom is like a painter and stuff and start painting like things that i guess that are gonna happen or her mom is just crazy i don't know and the house that katie went to oh, i'm calling katie her name is kate my bad the house that Kate went to was like a very like old type of mansion, you know. And right off the bat, when I saw that, I was like, I would not go in a house like that. First of all, if it's if I'm seeing all types of weird things going off on the outside, what makes you think the inside gonna be good, sis? Anyways, um, so there was like blood on the table, and it was like doll heads on there too, and that's where she saw um the. The supposed ser the servant that was working there that was also like taking care of the kids while you know she was waiting for kate to come and you know she was talking to the servant servant said a couple of things to her that made probably made her feel uncomfortable then she asked for the little girl the little girl's in the stables and yeah that stables are looking mad sketchy like i would not even go in something like that like the little girl clearly hiding and trying to surprise her or whatever but you know the little girl, um, you know, was very talkative of her for the first time meeting her. And apparently the little girl talks to dolls and knows a lot of things from the dolls. Yeah. And the little girl seemed nice as first. She's like a nice, sweet person. And she, one thing in this a room that she put Katie to sleep in, um, there's a statue, like a real life statue, like a porcelain doll type of statue. Um, as her great great grandmother, which was very creepy. Um, Katie did get like uncomfortable with that, so she did took it and brought it into like like the whole sewing machine room. And when she turned the doll, she turned the head, and then when she loved the head turned, I was like, oh nah, that thing is about to attack her, but it didn't this one to get you off of the height and when she was closing the window you know telling the girl the little girl to go to sleep and i had to bed closing the window she saw like a ghost reflecting at the window and she thought she was hallucinating so she didn't pay no mind oh yeah also the sewing machine started to move too when she left that room <laughs> so yeah um and she Ends up going to an area in the house that she's not supposed to go to, which the little girl says she doesn't go there for whatever reason. But the little girl made a solid point that like she doesn't go there because it scares her or something like that. She doesn't go there. But, of course, you always have that one character that just wants to go there. And she went there, and then that's when she met her the little girl's brother, Miles. 
and Miles, I would say, is more creepy than a little girl. More creepy than a little girl. I thought the little girl was gonna be the creepy one, but no, Miles is nah. Miles is just OD. So yeah, Miles um walked into the room that Katie that I keep calling Katie that Kate was in. And I'm I'm assuming that Miles was the one that closed the door on her purposely to scare her. Cause that was just my sketch. She walked in the room because the window was open. She closed it. She thought she heard a sound. Then the door is just closed behind her. Usually, sometimes in, the, in horror movies, that's a ghost that closed the door. But I really believe that was Miles that closed the door because the way how he, you know, acted towards her, he was so calm about it. Like, you're not supposed to be in here. Like, he knows what's there. But, um, yeah, so she found... So Kate found a book that, you know, the parents wrote in what miles is doing apparently miles and up and i'm getting expelled from school because he like was bashing another kid's head in a wall or something like that which is crazy um so miles and his little sister was playing a little prank on you know kate and i legit thought it was a little girl i was drawing in the pool yeah but apparently it was on the little real life like life-size porcelain dolls that was in there and you know kate didn't take it as a joke because she thought it was for real she got scared that part is crazy yeah um so there was a part where they went to this area where there was like a bunch of fishes where like miles and his little sister and katie went so they could show kate and it was a crow eating one of the fishes and miles got so mad that he literally stumped on the fish so the fish doesn't suffer and there was times where kate had dreams that miles tried to kill her and it shows you that how miles started to act towards her like miles even threatened to kill her at one point um the kids were both acting weird at this point the little girl drew a picture as well of something that was connected to her and basically when Kay, yeah basically when Kay was trying to take miles and the little sister out you know out of the house the little sister was spazzing out saying that she's gonna die she's gonna die if she leaves and because of that that's why miles had threatened kate to stop the car and say if you don't stop i'm gonna kill you or this and that and then um so yeah miles was very rude to kate and there's a person that they mentioned named quinn quinn apparently used to live in a house he was such a bad influence to miles which is Which is the reason why Miles is acting the way he's acting. This thing just turned off. Which is the reason why Miles is acting the way he's acting. She, uh, Kate also found some disturbing photos. Uh, apparently with the other girl that used to be there, Quinn, I guess, used to, like, stalk her in the house or try to do stuff to her while she's in the house. Um, Kate also keeps having bad dreams about, like, bad shit happened to her, she's getting killed, something like that. The little girl, like I said, with the whole drawing thing, I think that's, like, I thought that was maybe her imaginary friend or something like that, but I believe that's Quinn that she drew that's kind of, like, connected to the rat family somehow. And, um, Kay, of course, keeps seeing a whole bunch of stuff, keep hallucinating, seeing the woman mirrors. She saw, she kept seeing Quinn a lot of times, too. And Quinn ended up killing the servant because the servant knew all along what was going on. She was just pretending not to know. So, um, eventually Quinn spirit came and killed the servant. Um, Kate ended up seeing like the, I guess the other girl's body that was, you know, working there before in this pool, in this water that she went to, like in the middle of the forest or the woods, whatever that was. And she realizes that Quinn killed that other girl and quinn was hunting the house the whole time basically and basically this is what what you know confused me so basically she saw quinn kill the servant so she was escaping with the kid and then after that it goes 
back to the part again where her mother supposedly sent her like painting pictures and where her mother was calling her you know that she needs help that the mother was saying that she's hallucinating or something she thinks she's seeing things and um then it goes back to like normal where you know the kids are fine and they're trying to say they don't see Quinn in the mirror but Kate is saying that she knows she saw them in the mirror she know they saw him in the mirror and basically they're trying to make they're trying to make it as um Kate is crazy or something like they don't know what she's talking about and I don't know it's just very confusing to me the ending was very confusing to me she saw something and scream and boom that's the end of the movie so and then basically also when she accidentally broke the little girl's doll that was a porcelain doll and she was saying let me fix it let me fix it and the kids basically said to her it's broken and then they said to her you're broken so that confused me i'm just thinking like all these things that she was seeing in the house she was just hallucinating the whole time and there was nothing really wrong with the kids she was just thinking this all in her head like oh my god these kids are bad these kids are not normal kids or something like that that's what i'm assuming because her mother was going through the same thing hallucinating and stuff that's why her mother would paint certain creepy things on the paintings so i guess that basically what that is it's just so confusing like i don't know some people have different perspective with this movie but that's just what i think i think this whole time she was just hallucinating uh for things that she thought was there that wasn't because um the servant was still alive and the kids were fine so i don't know it's just very confusing to me if you haven't seen it it's definitely something you need to watch on your own to like put the pieces together because i'm i'm trying to figure this out myself like i i don't even get it <laughs> i probably have to watch the game but honestly it wasn't even that scary um kate even like seeing stuff like touching her grabbing on her and stuff and the weirdest thing to me how does the kids know that she have a nightmare you know what i mean like they were literally walking in her room casually like you had a nightmare and like even a little girl like you had a nightmare let me sleep next to you like who says that you know what i mean but yeah it's something you gotta watch on your own to figure it out because it's just confusing to me i don't even know the ending i hate when they leave a cliffhanger in the ending like that like ugh. but um i don't know what happened to kate i don't know if kate died because all you just hear she sees something and then she screams in the movie i don't know but yeah um there's something you gotta watch you guys so anyway let me know what you think about this review will y'all watch it after i told you this because honestly the movie was type short it was like an hour and 40 minutes long i think so it wasn't a long movie so i was kind of disappointed with it like i'm like damn like really like i thought like no one i don't think no one actually died in the movie which i was hoping that not to be the case but you know usually in movies somebody always dies but in this case didn't i don't know but anyways guys i hope you guys enjoyed this video give this video a thumbs up comment down below subscribe if you're new click the notification if you haven't find me on my social medias and description box down below and yeah i'll see you guys next video bye guys